Hello everyone, it's your boy Calculon, and we're back for another hour of code with VEX ocean floor cleanup activity. In this activity, I'm going to talk a little bit about the constraints of the activity, explain how we're going to use the sensor command to run our script, and give you a blueprint for your script that you can improve upon. Let's get into it. Here we are in the hour of code. And of course, the first thing you'll need to do is watch this super campy video. So go ahead and do that. Uh, not, don't stop my video for that. Just do it before you do the project. Anyhow, it gives you the rules of the game we're gonna be playing in terms of how you are a robot along the ocean floor and your job is to clean up as much trash as possible in the limited amount of battery life you have. In other words, you have a time limit for this activity. I'm gonna be rewarding extra credit for the highest scores, so do your best. We're gonna start on level two. Uh, level two uses a basic sensor command, the distance found an object. If you find this difficult, or if you missed some of the earlier activities where we learned this command and aren't able to quite get this one, you can go ahead and move down to level one, though this is less efficient. Conversely, if you feel that this is too simple for you, you can move up and use the down eye command and try to optimize your performance since you'll be able to get a higher score the higher level you go. And not just because I said so. You like my flow? Okay, this tutorial you can also watch on your own time since it's three and a half minutes long. To open the example project, select File in the toolbar. Choose Open Examples. And select Coral Reef Cleanup Level 2. All right, so watching that video, I actually did not know this because no just pay attention good dash watch tutorials. I don't know why I expect you to watch my tutorials, but now I watch these tutorials. But importantly, we're gonna be on the playground for the coral reef cleanup. Now you'll notice some lovely lag here as it loads the immersive ocean floor. Hey, spoilers, yoink. Uh, the tutorial will tell you that the first piece of trash is 800 millimeters in front of you. If we move the robot forward 800 millimeters, you'll notice as soon as I pick up this piece of trash, boop, I found a kilogram of trash, good for me. And I could, of course, turn right and go pick up this trash. Let's do that. Turn right 90 degrees, drive forward for 1200 millimeters, reset this. And I'm gonna go pick up this piece of trash and then pick up this piece of trash. I got two pieces of trash and got wrecked. So part of the constraints for this are that you cannot touch the outskirts of the field, uh, the coral reef as that would be destructive to the natural environment of the fishies. After you complete the exercise, whether or not you ran into the coral, you'll get a little certificate. And this one says, I'm bad at this game. Hey, me. Uh, hopefully yours is a higher score, but we'd like to improve that score. So let's do the dummy way of doing this. Let's do the brute force method, okay? So instead of using our handy dandy sensor command here, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna tell it to drive around the perimeter of this field. So uh, speculation, I believe that this field is 1600 millimeters. So instead of starting with a drive forward, let's turn right first. Uh, we're gonna turn right, we're gonna go forward the entire length of the field, and then we're gonna turn left. We're gonna go forward the entire length of the field. So let's turn left and then drive forward for 1600 millimeters. So let's go ahead and do that. This is where the fun. But then I'm gonna stop here. So I need to do this some more. So I could just do this some more with this. I could turn left again. Mm -hmm. And I could drive forward again. But aha, an aha moment. Let's instead of doing this many, many times, let's yeet, let's burgle this and let's use a control. Let's use a repeat command. So let's repeat forever. So what this will do is it'll just keep running this command over and over and over. So now I'm gonna move forward. I'm gonna turn left and go forward. And as soon as it's done driving forward 1600 millimeters, this forever command will say, hey, you should do that again, okay? And you'll notice it'll just keep going around and around and around and around and around the perimeter. But I'm not picking up a whole lot of trash because a lot of the trash is falling in the center of the field. And I'm only getting the trash on the perimeter. So let's see our score here after running through this whole thing. This is where the fun begins. This is where the fun. This is 
tour about the perimeter many times we can see we got a whopping 48 kilograms of trash collected for our time now that is the absolute like small brain way to go but we want to be big brain smarty stuff doing so let's find a more efficient way of just collecting the trash because you know there's all this stuff in the middle that's got neglected so let me eat um now, I'm going to give you an example of a new command. Well, we know this command. So the wait until distance found an object. Uh, distance found an object is just a sensing command that says, hey, you see that? You see that? There's a thing there. Okay, so it saves that in its big brain thinky stuff. Whoa, what's this? What is this? Well, that's an oval. Uh, it turns out when you sense a distance, it saves that and it's big brain thinky stuff. And then you can use that and you can put it And normally where we use distance, hey, it has a save value of that distance. And now it knows to travel that distance because big brain. So if I do this, watch what, 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 yeah, yeet. It found thing, but then stop because no repeat. So if I repeat that, let's repeat that. Repeat forever. We're going to wait until we see a thing. And then we're going to move towards the thing. Do you see thing? Do you see thing? I don't see thing. Do you see thing? I don't see thing. But things falling, downing. Big brain, fine thing. When thing in front, things see. But we can be smarter here than this. Oh, yeah. I see thing. I move towards thing. But we, we don't want to just find the things in front of us, right? So let's just stop it. Okay. What else could we do? What else could we do? Well, we could turn. Well, duh. Let's turn right until we see thing. I see thing, I move towards thing. No see thing, turn right. See thing, move towards thing. I know see thing, I turn right, I see thing. I know see thing, I turn right, I see thing. Okay, and this will obviously find more stuffins than we found previously with small brain, no good smarty stuff. But now we smarty, big brain, we do good or better stuffs. Um, yeah, so this is the hunt and find and move towards thing. But more importantly, hopefully you guys realize from this that we can now save distances with this distance found an object and it stores that as a value that we can later use to move a specific distance that we just sorted, sorted, stored, that we just stored in our short term memory. Big brain. I don't like sand. Point five kilograms of trash. We did it. We did the thing. Make sure when you're done with the thing, you take a screenshot of both your certificate here as well as your commands. So you can click this little get certificate and you can put the big brain. So smarty havings. Isn't that special? Be big brain. Okay. So hopefully, yeah, that was good. We did do this stuff. We did so many stuffs. So there is a way to make this faster -er so you don't have to speed up your reality since you don't have an editing command that makes you speed up your life. And you probably don't want to wait the many, many minutes. Uh, it just seemed like many minutes, probably like a three minutes that to watch this play out each time you iterate. So there is a way to make the robot go faster. Go faster, turn faster. I've covered that in my previous videos. So if you want to watch those and remind yourselves of that, you can improve this process. And there's more sensor commands you can use to make a more efficient choices with your robot rather than just always turning right. So I'd ask you to try those out. Hopefully this has been helpful. I would assume it has because I basically gave you a solution, even if it's not the best solution. So please experiment with both the sensor commands I've shown you, as well as the level three sensor commands. The tutorials you can find very useful in VexCode. So if you're not getting it from this, you might wanna try watching those tutorials. Enjoy big brain, do good stuff, and have a great day, everybody.
Bye-bye.